हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत्यकाल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ कुकिंग विद टेक्नोलॉजी यूजिंग फिलिप्स वेयर ईच वन ऑफ यू कैन बी सुपर शेफ सो डियर फ्रेंड्स यू नो वी लव शी कबाब शमी कबाब वी लव लॉट ऑफ मीट कबाब्स बट आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू ए सिंपल कबाब स्पेशली यू कैन मेक इट होम यूजिंग फिलिप्स एयर फ्रायर सो यू नो this is a very regular preparations that is made in lot of homes but what we do is we deep fry uh, these kebabs so for this take minced meat and uh, this is a lamb minced meat in this we're going to add lot of ingredients just make into patties and put it in so here i've got chopped ginger okay with the meat little extra ginger also will go fine also garlic adding ginger and garlic chopped is the best way to add especially to the you know kebabs like this because you get a nice taste and uh, you know flavor rather than adding ginger garlic paste that's kept in the fridge also we're going to add little bit of garam masala powder some chili powder and in this we're going to add kebab chini you know those pepper like looking uh, kebab chini is uh, slightly sweet in shin flavor they have the flavor from cinnamon even cloves and little bit of you know awesome flavors that's why they use this in kebabs so we're going to add some powder of uh, you know kebab chini in this we're going to add lot of chopped coriander some chopped onion and in any of the kebabs if you add little mint that will really enhance the flavor we're going to squeeze in some lime juice ha ah, that's good and we going to grate in little bit of nutmeg because i love the flavor in the kebabs for the binding i'm just going to add you know one or two egg yolks in fact any meat doesn't need a binding but if you add the egg yolk it will give a nice rich texture to it also in this i'm going to add cheese so in the normal kind of frying they absorb lot of oil and they become juicy but here we are adding the cheese and other things to make it interesting and tasty but you can use the same mixture for frying also but it's up to you in this i'm going to add a little bit of cream also as i told you this meat is very lean so i don't want the kebabs to be dry so to make them a little bit juicy here let me not forget to add salt in this I think that should be good now i'm going to mix this mixture well okay so that i'll be able to make this into small dumplings and make my kebab this keema mutti mutti means basically you know a fist pressed that's a mutti but this keema muttis you can also make them into small like nuggets so it's no big deal but i'm going to make it the way i generally make it at home you know so here the mixture is all mixed so i'm going to convert this into kebabs now now the meat mixture is ready first we're going to just make them into dumplings and keep them ready and if you think the mixture is really moist you can add fresh bread crumbs that is you take some bread and then just uh, put in the mixie and uh, make it like a powder and add but uh, i have checked the meat and accordingly i added the cream and all the other things okay this should be good okay so first i'm going to make them into dumplings now the patties are ready now i'm going to preheat the air fryer and the patties round are ready and here i am taking an another plate and just pressing them flat okay but let me preheat the air fryer at 200 degrees centigrade for 3 minutes okay if you want you can apply a little bit oil onto the plate now once this is preheated we going to pull the basket out we can drop our patties that should be good and put it in and for around 6 minutes that's good enough for the meat patties to cook at 200 degrees centigrade now you know after around 6 minutes at a high heat your kebabs are ready and they are mouth watering and they melt you know with the cheese in it look at this so you know you don't have to deep fry you don't have to heat the oil you know no mess very easy even cooking and they literally melt in your in the mouth ha 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 look at it so here is the kebabs and see 
without adding any oil. Imagine if I add oil on it, they will shine. But that's how they serve in the restaurant. If you want, you can also just top it up with little oil here or ghee, butter and then if you want to put some spices or anything. Dear friends, just make it at home and enjoy. Mm. You know, there is something about it, this air fryer. Whenever I have tried a lot of these snacks, which normally I would fry it in the oil, here, especially meats, they become more tender, more juicy. This is literally melting in the mouth. I think the blow of the air, you know, aerates these uh, meats and make it light. Wow. Ah. Just super. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed this uh, session of uh, making kima moti that is the simple kebabs at home and you can serve this with my favorite sambar rice or even as just as a snack they go excellent when your friends come no more mess no more you know working hard in the kitchen pre prepare all these things and just put in the philips air fryer and you have these awesome dishes ready ah super innovation and you philips